Hi guys, this time I'm bringing you tournament number 10, round number 1. Match number 1. Stratege vs. Oblivious. Commentating while playing. Let's see how this works out for me. Uh, one of the side effects should be that uh, it will probably... Ah, uh, loading worked now. Um, it will probably have some breaks uh, my talking, you know. Just a few seconds where I'm not saying anything or half a minute because I've got to concentrate on the battle and not using precautions because he also doesn't have any. And yeah, let's get this match started. Mm. Okay, it's Turkel of Thrive, so we will most likely see both players going for their tactic locations first. And then, uh, probably some battle for either one of the tactic locations or uh, the victory locations. And Oblivious is also Nihilum. So, this is a Nihi versus Nihi matchup. Approximately two weeks into the era. Little bit less than that, but just a little. And... yeah. His stream load is already out, so he got less followers than me. And... as you can see from the equipment, mine is slightly better than his. Oh, cool, the L color bug. Awesome. And very... Well, quite an unusual tactic, going for the wicked location with your first uh, wipe. And there I'm... Um, that should give him a lead in the wicked location, uh, tech locations, but... Uh, apparently he doesn't have a tech... Ample of Conquest. Uh, that's bad. Damn it. <sighs> um, now I've got to figure out what I'm going to do. Well, he was nice enough to do a rematch when I found out that I don't have any units in my army because of uh, I forgot to put him back in after putting him out for the night. <laughs> Stupid thing. You should always check for that <laughs> before uh, trying to uh, do a tournament battle or a DG battle. Well, anyway, kiting his uh, whips there, and now that they're dead, activating activate the leash and slowing his DL down, which oh whoa, 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 whoa. get out there! <sighs> whoa, <laughs> quick retreating is very important when you see that your units are pitched against something which they shouldn't be. Like you're having a suit and having to fight the infantry. Ah, luckily he is running after the whips. That should give me enough time to upgrade there. Yep, it does. And another squad of whips out. Ah, cool. So, Eater's Goblet of Death. 20% immediately uh, armor piercing melee and plus five percent melee damage. That's a cool rare item. Dropped by the how's it called? Um yeah, probably the soul eater. <laughs> Race strike forward naming and aiming. And decapped his weak location, so I got also got the bottom left weak location. And there's the first ranged. Um so my DL is probably going to die in just a few seconds, but I've successfully decaptured. Ah, great! He's sending his uh, his sword up front. That gives me time to kill him before his uh, main army arrives, especially when I've got teleport. Well, but I screw up there. So, in fact, they survive. The DL sacrifice there was pla 
and the whip sacrifice at the bottom left wasn't. Sacrificing your DL when it's on low HP can be a good idea because then he is going to respawn just a few seconds later with full HP. But uh, sadly, within your base, you're totally out of position. And let's see, um, no, he also doesn't have that many units, so it wouldn't be fair if I'm now using all of my. How's it going? Um, all of my uh, tactical points to spawn units if he also can't have as m if he can't have approximately as many. Well, but judging from his spawn there, I think I can spawn just one more. Should be fine. Well. So far, the battle is going quite well for me. I've got three tactical locations and one weak location, just capturing the bottom left weak location, while he's taking the bottom, the top right one. And he is on one fortress and no tactical location. So this battle is probably going to end soon. I'm now going to uh, <coughs> put all my forces here and do a big attack there. <laughs> setting, setting my whips to directly attack the proselytes and my proselyte to attack his dream lord while my dream lord takes care of his whips. That's the plan. Let's see how well it works out. Go go go! And there is the Alice running out of the battlefield. That could now I'm letting him run because now I can just annihilate all forces which he have got left down there. And bam! Never forget to use Gnosis Shock. And the force annihilated, only his DL is left, and uh, a squad of touches down there. Atrocitus gets back into the action. And Oblivious doesn't have any more troops. Oh, too bad. I hate it when battles end because of that. Well, anyway, victory. Hmm.